What's going on guys and gals? My name's Sean. If you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's going on everybody? It's good to see you back. Now, today we're going to be checking out another Chinese guitar. Now I know this company's out of Canada, but I know it chips in when I see one. Yeah, I know it chips in when I see one. The reason I say that I know this is a Chipson is because I know anybody on the planet right now can contact the seller on AliExpress have this same guitar we're fixing to look at made for them with their name on it. And unless I get a tour of the factory this came out of in Canada, I'm saying this is made in China. And I don't know if they say these guitars are made in Canada or not. I just know a chips and when I see one. And what I'm talking about is this. And what this is, is the case the guitar's in. Let's crack it open. Ooh. We got the Palermo floor. It's a beauty, ain't it? That's supposed to be white Karina. Now, I don't know what white Karina looks like, so I can't tell you if it is or not. But that looks like some kind of rosewood to me. But there it is, the Gibson headstock. Look, it's got a certificate of ownership. This certificate hereby authenticates that this instrument, model 58-0071919, was refinished, aged, and set up by Mike Palermo of Palermo Guitars. This guitar passed final inspection and is for sale by Mike's Music. Mike Palermo. Cool. Now, I don't know this guy, Mike, but we're going to find out if he does a good job in just a minute. Now, hang on just a dang minute, Sean. You can't be calling them people's guitar a chipson if you don't know if it's a chipson or not. Bro, look, I know a duck when I see a duck. You know what I'm saying? But for your sake, we'll just call it an explorer style guitar. Does that make you happy? Did somebody say explorer? Oh my, it's Joshie. Bro, I need to sit down for a minute. We got Super Shredder in the house. Yeah, we got Super Shredder in the house. Y'all remember Josh? Going digital. Yeah, analog's out the window, man. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. But right now, we gotta get that thing off that table. Play it unplugged a little bit. Now, don't get it twisted. Just because it's a chipson in my mind doesn't mean I don't like this guitar. <laughs> Definitely do. I'm not digging the serial number in Sharpie, but hey, that's what the guy's doing. I mean, it plays great already. We're just gonna tune it up just a little bit. Yeah, that thing's looking pretty good, ain't it? I ain't gonna lie, but we're gonna tear into it and see what it's all about. But it ain't gonna do it by itself, so that's gonna be enough lip flapping. Let's make it happen. Let's get these old strings off. You know I won't make you watch this part. All right, we got the old strings off. Let's take a look at this. Well, that thing slid right off there, look at that. But we're gonna replace this. We got some parts for it, like I said. All right, let's look at this thing. That's actually not too bad. No markings. Yeah, those aren't very, those aren't very loose. But the cool thing is, is we're swapping all this gold for some silver. We're gonna be using Tone Pro stuff. First thing we gotta do, take these out. Whoa, hold up, you freaking bonehead. What, bro? Are you sure you're supposed to be using a hammer to do this? Of course I am. Just chill out, man. <laughs> you see bro, this, this you know this is scar my guitar, dude. Stop. <laughs> there you go. I'm doing this to help loosen it up so it doesn't break the finish. And I didn't hurt that doing that. For all you tenderonies. Yeah, these little boogers gotta come up too.
Let's see if our posts fit. That's going to be a direct hit. Josh. Too tight. She's wallered out, bro. <laughs> now, what do we do to fix this? This is where the scarring comes in. Still glue everything, huh? You gotta glue it, my brother. If you don't, it might come out of there on us. And we don't want that happening. We're just caveman style. <laughs> a scarred style, man. Get it right. Make sure you wear a cup when you come over, because Sean will get you in the nuts of the drawer. That's why we wait on those guys to dry. These are Wilkinson tuners on here. If you notice, this shaft right here is really long compared to this Grover. You see how long that is? Now pay attention to this. They're raving about how great these tuners are. You see that wiggling around in there? Do you see that? That's because this isn't machined properly to fit the part that it's going around. And it should be tight. That shouldn't be loose. That's what's causing these tuners to have terrible tuning stability. People rave about these because they look like Grovers, I guess. But they're horrible tuners. I wouldn't buy them. Why would I buy these when 15 bucks more I can have real Grovers? Man, I'm about to smack you right now. Why are you going to use a drill? What are you talking about? Look, I'm going to use this drill. And in the end, if I do something bad, you can smack me. Deal? Deal. Now I'm getting nervous. Let me just hurry up so I don't screw nothing up. You feel better now? Yeah, I'm probably still gonna smack you. What? Yes, for sure, gonna smack you. Bro, you ain't smacking nothing, let nothing get smacked around here. I told you, if I mess something up, you could. If I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry, but you see that? They use the drill in every guitar factory across the world to do this. I'm not the only guy. Wait, why are you wasting your time using all that toothpicks and stuff? Like, I get that's a cool hack, but that's so unnecessary for the tuners. But it's really not, see? I'm doing this because the bolt's going to go right beside the hole, and it's going to push that wood over into the hole, and then the screw's going to get loose after a couple of uses of the tuner and it's just not going to be a good thing we need to fill these so it's a good sound repair that makes a lot of sense i used to use the toothpicks whenever um, my strap locks didn't fit inside of the the hole yep and it'll work like a charm it's an old heck even young guys do <laughs> right well said so josh tell everybody what you've been doing you got married? <laughs> yep, my man got married. Yes, I have a wife now. He's got a good one, though. He found him a Kathy. Pretty much in my eyes. I'm very blessed over here. A lot awesome. of blessings in my life. Well, it's a blessing to get you back here. Let's see what you can do with this thing when we get done with it. Those toothpicks are made out of maple, in case you're wondering. Now, I'm only doing this with a metal file. And believe it or not. Tell him, Josh, I'm not hurting to finish. It's gonna be spotless. And start. Voila. Now, what's the ruler for? Seriously, bro? I'm just trying to line these up straight so I don't make them crooked. Hang on, hang on. Doesn't everybody put tape on the drill bit? Bro, I'm not everybody. And I've done this more times than you've put strings on your guitar. Just chill out. 
Oh, I get it. You're the master. Just wait till you drill one through, though. Well, we'll plug that hole when we get to it, bro. <laughs> Now, do I get to slap you because I didn't do anything wrong? Whoa. Don't you want to take this guitar apart first? For what? So I don't get dirt everywhere or whatever? Bro, this thing ain't gonna have nothing on it. Watch. Can't even tell. I did anything to it? Yeah, it covers that up beautifully, don't it? Never even see that down there. Now he don't like these gold screws either, so we're gonna change them too. One thing's for certain, them things wasn't coming out of there. Look how long them screws are. What's under the hood? Oh, it's going to surprise you what's under here. Because he put these in himself. It didn't come with this. It's the 70s Gibson Tribute. 82422. That's relatively new pickup, huh? Of course, we got to see. And it's the same. Ooga googa. There, I finally cross screwed something for y'all. Quit screwing around. <laughs> I want to play this thing already. It's almost ready, bro. Just chill out. Can't have that gold either. No switch. Josh, you ain't forgot how to be a cameraman or nothing, have you? No, but I am dozing off thinking about cookies right now. Cookies? Bro, you... All I know is you better not be in there fooling around with Kathy's cookies. Those are Kathy's? Yep. Well, they were Kathy's? What? You guys know I love the Dunlop fingerboard cleaner and prep. And of course the Dunlop deep conditioner.
Gotta give it some love once in a while. A little something, something. Looking nice, huh? I string it up. The Palermo is done. Got all its new screws and bolts and everything else on it. New tuners was the main thing. <laughs> Let's play it unplugged now. I think I like those Diadarios it put on there. Now that thing sounds pretty good unplugged, don't it? Let's turn it over to Josh, see what he can do with it. Kathy makes the best ones. You done went and got yourself cracked. And now you guys know why I don't come back here. All right, all right. That's going to be enough of all that crazy stuff. This wild guy back here trying to tear the strings off everything all the time. It sure was nice having Josh back for this episode, man. Because there will be a lot more guitar playing going around here with him here. Now, me and Kathy really appreciate you watching. Until we see you next time, don't you touch my scar guitar. I'm